Hello, Michelle. Hi. So today we are talking to Michelle Merrifield from Essence of Living in Broad Beach. Mermaid Beach. Mermaid Beach. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. It's Michelle Merrifield that we're speaking today from Essence of Living in Mermaid Beach in the Gold Coast in Queensland. Thanks for uh, chatting to us today, Michelle. Michelle, I represent a whole series of uh, business owners uh, throughout Australia, primarily in northern and south Queensland. And uh, I wanted to ask you some questions today about you and your business. You're a very successful business owner here in the Gold Coast. And my objective with our interview today is to share your knowledge, uh, your experience in business, your background, uh, what motivates you and all those wonderful topics. So to start with, could you share with us a little bit about what you do here at Essence of Living in Mermaid Beach? Sure. Um, well, I run a yoga and Pilates studio, but we're more than just a yoga and Pilates studio. We also offer a wide variety of different uh, services, not just the general classes that most people do. We actually go into the schools, we do corporate events, we work with cancer patients with disabilities, but we also have our own RTO, which is internationally recognised for both yoga, Pilates and Thai massage teacher training. So we sort of broaden our horizon out. We found our little focus or our little niche and then we went broad with it. So we also have yoga and Pilates clothes, DVDs, um, books, we have a retail section. And we also work with the local council, the Gokko City Council, and we do a lot of classes a week to the community, so out in local parks, community centres. So we really diversified our income. So what it sounds like is, uh, Michelle, that you have taken a concept, uh, i.e. yoga, and you've really... Squeezed it. Squeezed everything <laughs> out of it. Yeah. So you've maximised every income stream and channel that you can from yoga. So can I ask... Um, just back a little bit, like your, and then we'll come back to your business. Sure. Where did you first start in business? What was your entrepreneurial drive that got you going? Great. Uh, I did my first yoga class when I was 16, but I was really not flexible, but I loved how it made me feel. And being a natural athlete my whole life and wanting to take uh, the experience of exercise and health and share that with others, that's what motivated me. So even though I wasn't good at yoga, I had an intention and a heart for wanting to spread the love uh, to other people. And in time, I got more flexible. I did lots of training, lots of courses. I, I did an advanced diploma in recreational fitness and then a business degree and then two years of nutrition and then still constantly learning. Um, but it all started with a burning desire to uh, share that feeling you get when you feel fantastic, when you feel well, when you feel healthy, and when you feel connected, uh, not only to yourself, but to everybody else. So that was my driver. So it's about the feeling? It's about sharing the feeling. Okay. It's, a, it's about helping others feel fantastic. Yeah, sure. So would that be uh, your underlying yes. objective in what you do, yes. is helping people to feel great? Okay. Not only to themselves, but to the community. And that's a big thing we try to create in our studio is a, a sense when anyone walks in, they feel loved. So it's mm. a massive customer service orientated business. But it's not, the driver's not for money. It's because we really want people to connect and we really encourage people to connect with each other and, and build a community of, of like-minded people. So, mm. so would, um, would part of your drive... Okay, so your quest the question is... Where does your drive come from? And I get that part of it is passion about serving and contributing. Is there anything else you'd like to share about that? Uh, I'm always in the pursuit of excellence. Okay. So for within myself, how can I constantly improve? How can I constant evolution, growth, and I'm into innovation. So someone might teach you one way and I say, well, how can I make this better? How yeah. can I improve it and tweak it and make it my own? Because... I had one great teacher say to me, he's like, I want you to stand on my shoulders. Don't just do what I've taught you. Be better than me. Mm. And, and that really inspired me to constantly grow and constantly learn. Yeah. So I heard that you actually did sleep once back in 1998 <laughs> for about two hours. <laughs> that was a year I graduated from high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you haven't slept since. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> you have. 
and, w- and where does that energy come from, do you think, Michelle? Honestly, I, I think it's obviously being driven from passion. And, but I think when you're really healthy, mm. I've been vegan for nine years now, I train two to four hours a day. Two to four hours a day? Yeah. And I think when you're so healthy and in line, uh, everything falls in place because you have a clear mind, uh, your body feels good, you don't feel sluggish, mm. you're just alive. And I think when you feel great, you've got energy. But yeah. One other thing they say in yoga is when you're living with a divine purpose or a higher intention, so for the greater good, mm. uh, you have unlimited resources, yeah. including energy, to manifest whatever it is that you're working towards if your intention is pure and divine. So I think that helps. Yeah, sure. So what do you say to someone who's got a mechanic shop? Can he find divine Absolutely. intervention? Absolutely. His underlying passion has to be to help the customer. Yep. So it's not it, about making the money. It's about helping the customer and giving the customer a great experience. And then the money just flows. Absolutely. Yeah. And opportunities and word of mouth and it all comes around. So, and I'm a big advocate of this too, but I want to ask you, do you feel that for people in business, it is demanding, right? So for them to be in their best mental and physical shape helps them um, a long, to go a long way down the track to be success, more successful in their Absolutely. business. Absolutely. So you can't come home and drink two bottles of wine? Is that what you're saying, no Michelle? <laughs> Definitely not. Well, guys, there you go. <laughs> Maybe a glass. <laughs> Yeah. In work and in your life. Yeah, sure. But you want to wake up in the morning and you want to have a clear head and be fresh and ready to oh, yeah. go for the day. Oh, excited, like fly out of bed in the morning. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. About. How's that levitating going of yours? It's <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Yeah, I've seen you floating around here, the broad beach. So, um, what, else, uh, what else do you do in your business that allows you to, because you've got a lot going on, you run an RTO, you've got multiple rooms here, you've got, how many students coming through the door a week? Well, through this space here, we probably have six to seven hundred. Six to seven hundred people a week. And then we do another, probably eight to nine hundred, oh wait, I'm sorry, eight to nine hundred people outside of here. Mm. We have big corporate gigs that we do, and uh, with the city council and our privates. Mm. And the schools, we do lots of schools. Great. With the, um, with the Australian Institute of Sports. So, mm. Yeah, we would train probably that around 1,500 people. So what do you do to bring all that together? How do you, how do you manage that? Team. Team. Team of angels. Team of angels. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. And I think the biggest thing um, that saved my business and allowed my business to grow to the size that it is, mm. is training them all in-house. Mm. So by having an RTI... Hang on a minute. Did I just hear that you train your staff? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Isn't that a novel idea? Why well, would you have yeah, to? Exactly. It's essential. Of course. Right from how you answer the phone to dealing with a complaint to occupational health and safety. Did you know that there's businesses out there, Michelle, that don't train their staff? At all? No. Really? Yeah. We have to. I know. Any success. And, that, and I think that's what gives me the freedom to travel three to four months a year away because I know every little one of my angels that are working in house are doing exactly how I want them to be. Mm. And because of the RTO, we'll have you know, lots and lots of people come through and I just hand select the best students to become my staff. Mm. And they do it exactly to the book, if not better, which is what I try and inspire them to do. So I'm hearing there's systems in there too Absolutely. and processes. Yeah. Tick the boxes, do the actions. And inspire them and encourage them to tell me a better way of doing this. Yeah. So even though I'm running a business as a sole trader, I have 25 girls who are just as passionate about my industry and their customer helping me improve it. Mm, great. Yeah, so, so it sounds like, it. yeah, it's, it's the energy that comes from top down. Yeah. yeah. Or even bottom up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sure. Maybe in a whole circle. Yeah. Yeah, top down, bottom up. But it, overall it's, mm. and the language, the angels, the energy, the systems, setting them up for success. Yeah. So I, I always say, I'm not your boss, I'm just the person who has to pay the bills. 
Yeah, sure. I'm the one in charge of making sure all the finances stack up. Mm. But we're in this together. We're a team. Yeah. Uh, so I don't see myself as the boss. I just see myself as... Maybe someone who brings it all together and yeah, yeah, yeah keeps it. And really, I love to build up my staff and constant praise, constant support, helping them be the best that they can be. Some of them like, okay, I want to open a studio. All right, let's mm. do that together. How can we make this work yeah. to allow you to achieve? Or sometimes I'll have a staff member go, oh, I'm not making enough money. What can I do? I'm like, okay, well, why don't you get some business cards out there? Why don't we look at doing some promotion in the park? If I can get you some extra classes... So I can help them individually as well. Mm, so you support them. You Absolutely. listen, you take the time to motivate them, encourage them. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, no wonder you're successful. Well, I, I think what goes around comes around, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. What other uh, tips could you give business owners to uh, help them to have a successful business, Michelle? Uh, be prepared to work very hard mm. and do whatever it takes make it work and I think you have to be willing to work seven days a week Mm. because when you're a small business owner you do work every day or it's on your mind every day and I like to think one small step in the direction of the big picture every day just even if it's booking into a course or researching online different things or reading a relevant book Mm. whatever it is but just a small step in that big picture plan but you've got a big picture plan right yeah yeah Yeah. so you've got a vision You've got objectives you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You're reading, studying, learning all the time how you can be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is true. Every time I tell Michelle we've got a course, she goes, sign me up. (laughs) (laughs) Sign me up. I'm there. (laughs) Yeah, so constant, ever-ending learning, pursuit of good health and happiness, and um, uh, empowering your team, Mm -hmm. uh, supporting them, training them, setting them up for success, and... uh, Again, having having a bigger vision. Definitely. Because yeah. You got to see where you're going. You don't want to just, as they say, you know, get stuck by the trees in the forest as you walk. You need to walk through them. Don't get all the obstacles. Mm. And uh, and I like to check in maybe every month mm. and write a new goal set. And I have a big white vision board, and then I just write all the things I want to achieve, and then I just stroke them off. And I, I put that in a place where my angels can see it too, my PA and my manager. Mm. And so every day when they walk into the office, they can see what my vision is. Mm. So together we work together to achieving my big picture. Mm. And then they'll be like, oh, Michelle, you know how you want to do this? Have you thought about maybe doing it this way? And I'm like, oh, that's a really good idea. Mm. So I have the big picture, but I have a team helping me achieve that. So you're really uh, open. You're very transparent in what you want to do and what you're going after so everyone can share in that. Yeah, great. So everybody knows the bottom line, mm. all the staff. Yeah. Um, because in that way, if we need to make wage cuts, mm. we need to make wage cuts, or if we've got to put prices up, everyone knows exactly what we're doing, why we're doing it, yep. um, the intention behind that. And so then if a customer comes and goes, oh, we've had a price increase, why is that? The staff member knows exactly why from the bottom of their heart mm. and can ethically discuss this with the consumer so the consumer's happy. Mm. Great. Uh, what do you, let's say we've got some people out there at the moment, the world's been in a bit of a turmoil the last couple of years, what would you say to someone who might be a bit tired, worn out, sort of maybe lost a bit of hope, but you want to, you want it to go in and, you know, boost them up and get them moving forward again, what, what would be a couple of things that you would say to them? First, I'd have to ask, what's their underlying passion? Why are you doing what you're doing, first and foremost? If it is just for money, that's not going to really drive you to the end. I think if you have a a higher intention, that'll be a driver. So you might want to say, look, too much done, dusted. Close it, start again. Closing a business isn't going to kill you. Um, But find something that you're passionate about. Use the tools and the experiences that you've learned from the last business and take that into something that you believe in. I think anyone who doesn't believe full-heartedly what they're doing isn't going to have the same success as someone who's super passionate, willing to put in the extra time, the extra hours, the extra education to succeed. And I think you need that passion. And if you have no passion in what it is you're doing anymore, do something else. Find the passion. Mm. Mm. We've got to do something while we're here, right? Might as well do it well. And what about their health? 
paramount. Number one. Diet, exercise, no, actually, mind. It actually comes before, the, before your passion. Yeah. Because you haven't, if you have a clear head, you don't really feel or hear mm. your internal Just dialogue and, dialogue and messages. Well, truthfulness is because if you're um, depressed and you've been drinking or smoking or eating bad, you feel guilty and you have negative going on in your head. So you're having battles everywhere. Battles, whereas, and what you're hearing, the noises you're hearing aren't your truth. Mm. But if you're clear and you're eating well and you're exercising, you're going to have divine um, intuition is probably and gut feelings that are going to be online mm. because they haven't been wavered by negativity mm. or negative food, negative people in your life. Mm. That's really important as well. Who is in your support system or your masterminds? Yeah, so get, true. Get a good coach, get good mentors. That's really important. Yeah, and, and it's so often I hear it and I see it is we're such a direct reflection of the people around us. You are completely You're hanging around with a heap of alcoholics, invariably you're probably one yourself. Undoubtedly. And on the other side, if you go and find those people, even if you're not quite there right now, go and find those people because we're out there that want to support each other and help each other to be better and doesn't have to be perfect, but just attempting to go down the, the better path, you're going to be winning anyway, right? I, and I, I think I find that I'm very lucky when I work, I work with a lot of very, very, very wealthy private clients. Mm. And I'm so busy and sometimes I think, oh, I don't want, I haven't got time to take them on. But by taking these highly successful business people on as my clients, I learn so much mm. from them in our hour sessions, you know, two or three times a week. I get as much out of it than they get from me and I feel like I should be paying them yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the information that they, they tell me through the session about their life journeys and business and how they got to where they are. Mm. But one big, big facet is action. Yeah. Massive action. I can't yeah. emphasize that enough. It's all good reading all the books and learning everything, but if you don't put it into action, it's a waste. Yeah. So you actually, then that's where I came back, you've got to be willing to work. Yeah. You've got to sweat, you've got to be tears, Take the, make the calls, have the appointments, do the asking. You have to. Mm. It's a massive action. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Education and, it, and then find a decision and then act on it. And then you'll find out, right? If you... If you try. Yeah. Take the action. You'll find, mm, this works. And maybe that didn't quite go, but at least you're doing something and moving as opposed to, oh, the market's dead and there's no one buying and, and I'll wait for this to be over as opposed to, what can we do? Getting at cause. Sometimes sitting still, uh, it, it, businesses can go under just from not making any action. Mm, yeah, just taking activity. Mm. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, would you um, just like to uh, tell um, everyone that you're talking to here where you are? Uh, can they come and try it out? Come yeah, and absolutely. experience your business? Um, we're at SS Living 3 slash 52 Peerless Avenue, Mermaid Beach. And we'd love for you to come and join us. Just say you watch this little video and come and have a free class. Just tell any of my little angels and they'll be more than happy. Or you can sign up for our newsletter on my website at essenceliving.com.au. We've also about to launch three iPad applications that you can download and a whole DVD series and a book. So please come and play. We'd love to see you. And if you want to learn to become a yoga teacher, I'm the girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle.